wizards and witches and welcome to my channel. It's me Haley Marie and welcome back. I am all out full Harry Potter nerd today and I am proud as you can probably tell. For those of you who don't know, my birthday is October 16th and I turned 21 and for my birthday I did not want to go to the club, I did not want to go to the bar, I wanted to go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I'm that person. I have been obsessed with Harry Potter for pretty much all my life. I will insert a photo from my third grade birthday party which was Harry Potter themed. Things really haven't changed as you can probably see. If you guys would like to see my 21st birthday celebration, I will have a link down below to my vlog channel, which you guys should go subscribe to also because I'm going to be vlogging way more often because I got a new vlog camera for my birthday. Yeah, so you guys go check that out if you want to see me at the Wizarding World. Also, Disneyland is in that vlog. And to top it all off, you get to see me try a shot of tequila for the first time out of the Triwizard Cup and you get to see my reaction. Okay guys, so today's video is a Harry Potter haul slash trying candy. So at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna show you really briefly the things I bought at the Wizarding World. And then I'm also going to be trying candy from the Wizarding World and just different things that they sell at Honey Dukes. Anyway, getting into what I bought. So, obvi, I bought. <laughs> so guys, I bought. The dress robe, I am a Gryffindor, I was sorted into Gryffindor, I am a proud, proud Gryffindor, and yeah, so I got the robe, and let me get up more, okay, so you guys can see it like a little bit better, <laughs> look at the sleeves, and the best part, the best part, guys, there is a wand pocket, yes, I of course have Hermione's wand, this is an interactive wand, if you guys didn't know already, at the park, you can cast spells with the interactive wands. I got this wand at my first ever trip to the Wizarding World, um, which I am from Florida, so I go to the Orlando one usually, but I just moved to my new apartment in LA, so I went to the Wizarding World in Los Angeles, California. The next thing I got, which Nick bought me, was the Tri Wizard Cup. I got this specifically to drink my first 21 drink out of <laughs> which if you want to see that go watch the vlog, but what's really neat about this is I Don't know how well you can tell but like the bottom of this lights up. I Don't know how well you can see that. Let me block the light the light kind of like ruins it But it lights up to a really dark blue and it's super cool the next thing I got at the Wizarding World was also bought by Nick. Um, it is this little cauldron mug. And I thought it was so cute because I've always wanted a cauldron, like an actual cauldron, and I have to order one online, which I haven't done yet, but I'm planning on it. And I thought it was so cute. Okay. I got the, which I have not worn yet, the <laughs> Gryffindor scarf which I'm so excited to wear in the winter. So we're just gonna put that on right now. Isn't that, like, isn't this cute, guys? Yes. And guys, everything else I bought is candy from Honey Dukes. So, Accio candy. Um, but the first thing I think I'm going to try is, which this got kind of <laughs> messed up recently, but it's been in the refrigerator. It is the cauldron cake, which, if you guys can see, it's so freaking cute. Beauty guru status. So cute, guys. It's this little cauldron, and I'm going to try it. So, let's go eating cauldrons. Okay, so if you guys watch my channel, you know I am not a huge chocolate person, but damn, that is so good. So there's chocolate cake, and then there's this, like, chocolate icing, and then there's that really good, like, quality, like, chocolate. So freaking good, guys. This is a 10 out of 10. 
phenomenal. I was not expecting this to be so good. So I definitely recommend this if you are going to the Wizarding World. Can we just talk about the packaging for a second? Like, how cute is this? Okay. So the first one is called a pumpkin pasty, which looks like this, which the side of mine kind of broke off, but you can see the inside. It smells so good. It smells like brown sugar, cinnamon, pumpkin already, which is, this is my first time smelling it, guys. So let's give this a go. Oh my god. When you realize you should have bought like 10. Okay, that exceeds a 10 out of 10. Like it, it tastes like a little miniature like pumpkin pie. I wish I would have gotten that with butter beer. I kind of regret it. Next treat from Honey Dukes is the butter beer fudge. And <laughs> this looks crazy. Now, I am a huge fan of butter beer. I have tried both frozen and regular butter beer because they don't have hot either right now or at that Wizarding World in LA, but this, let's see if it's on the standards of butterbeer. Okay, honestly, it's nothing like super special. It tastes more to me like candy corn, like it's straight up candy corn. So if you guys like candy corn, then you'll really like this. I do like candy corn, but because it wasn't butterbeer flavored, I'm going to give it an 8. I think it's time for a little refreshment. So the next item I got was the pumpkin juice, which cutest packaging in the world. I've had this before, not going to lie, but it's been two years, and I remember liking it, but I want to see if I still like it. So let's see. Got to shake it up. It's fizzing. It smells good. I had pumpkin fizz at the park and it was pretty good. I still like it. Oh, that's so nice. If you like pumpkin, pumpkin spice, anything, you'll like this. I would give this a nine and a half out of ten because butterbeer is straight up ten and if not exceeds that so yeah I remember loving these and then trying the Haribo version of these in the grocery store and being like they're not the same they're not as good these were better so let's see if that's still the case in my mind <laughs> They're not terrible. They definitely taste like the Haribo ones. It's literally like they took Haribo candy, put it in the dispenser, and that's all they did. Maybe the Wizarding World in Orlando has different ones than the one in LA. So whenever I go to the one in Orlando, I'll pick some up, let you guys know. But these... These were like a six and a half. I would say the aftertaste, it kind of, I don't know. I don't think I'd get them again. The red ones kind of have like an aftertaste of like medicine. It's not my favorite thing in the world. The next one is the pears. And I think, I forgot what they're called, but I remember them being so freaking amazing and I was like, I want to get them again, but I can't because they don't sell them here. So I was like, they're probably like a specialty like thing for the Wizarding World, whatever. So I went online to try to see if I could buy them. Turns out they're British sweet. So I am totally ordering these. So let's give these a go. So guys, absolutely delicious. Just like I remember, if not better. 10 out of 10 if you guys are going to the Wizarding World or if you haven't tried these before and you want to order them online, you definitely need to. For those of you who don't know, they are a hard candy and you're going to want to suck on them kind of like a mint. They're not mint by any means. At first there's a sugar coating on the outside and then it turns into more of like a lollipop. The next candy I got 
I remember loving so, so much, so I got a whole jar. <laughs> they are the Honeydew Sherbet Lemons, and I got a comment on one of my British sweets videos saying, try Sherbet Lemons, and I'm like, here I am with my Sherbet Lemons, how you doing? Woo! It's Sherbet Lemon time. So guys, I would say these are a 9.5 out of 10. So freaking good. Now, they're kind of like the pears in the sense that there's that sugar coating on the outside. It's just these are lemon flavored, those are pear flavored. What I do love about these is typically lemon candies taste kind of like lemon pledge smells, if that makes any sense. Um, but these, like, aren't soury they're more sweet and I really like that about these they don't make you go or anything like that um they're just very like nice and enjoyable and I definitely love these will get them again so freaking good my next jar of candy was something else that I got in a jar last time and I loved them so much my mom actually stole the rest of my jar because she loved them so much so I bought another jar. They are the Pepper Imps, and these are cinnamon-flavored candy, and I hope they're as good as I remember them being. So let's see if these are the same as I remember. Okay, so yeah, they're the same as I remember. 10 out of 10, one of my favorite candies at the Wizarding World. What I like about these is usually cinnamon candy like um, hot tamales, which are one of my favorites. Hot tamales usually get like too cinnamony and I just keep eating them and then I lose like my taste buds for a few days. These don't do that to me, so I like that about these. My next sweet that I'm trying are the Exploding Bonbons. I have never purchased these before. And I am really excited to try these. I heard some mixed reviews on them. Apparently, they're kind of like a white chocolate or something. I don't know. If you guys know me, though, I'm not really big on white chocolate. It says on the back, they're orange and pineapple flavored. If you guys know, I love orange candies. Um, never had pineapple flavored candy, I don't think. So, I'm really excited to see how I react to this and what the inside is like. So... Let's open them up. Okay, so guys, the package is open. I love this packaging. I think it's so pretty. So I have one of the little bonbons. And this is what it looks like. It's just a white little lump. Smells really good. What are my neighbors doing? Smells really good. It smells fruity. Okay, let's give it a go. Was I not supposed to bite into it? Oh my god, they're like pop rocks. Like, my mouth is still fizzing and I already like drank water and stuff. Like, I love pop rocks. If you've never had pop rocks before, you need to try some pop rocks. But that is literally my favorite white chocolate candy I think I've ever tried. I'm going to give those a 10 out of 10. I keep giving things a 10 out of 10, but like, I mean, it's Harry Potter world. Of course, their candy's gonna be on fleek. The next ones I'm trying, I always thought these were solid chocolate, and I never bought them because I can't stand solid chocolate. Now, my first visit, I did buy the chocolate frog, and I never ate my chocolate frog, but I bought it specifically for the packaging and the wizard card. Um, so I never bought these. These are Fizzing Wispies, and I found out by reading the packaging, which I probably should have done before, it says made with chocolate fizzy fruits. So I'm guessing these, like, have Pop Rocks in them too. <laughs> and I think I'm going to be in heaven. So I'm going to try these. These look so good. Mmm, it smells so good. Now this smells like it's like a strawberry flavored pop rock candy in it. So yeah, let's go.
Okay, so I definitely like them. I think I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10 just because the fizzing wasn't very fizzy like the exploding bonbons. I definitely like the exploding bonbons better, which I thought it was going to be the other way around. But if you like um, like strawberry pieces in your chocolate, like I do, you're going to like these. That alone made me enjoy it. The chocolate did taste like a very good quality chocolate. My next candy... I did not think I was going to buy, but I did. They are the Jelly Slugs, which does not sound very appetizing for me. All I think of is eating the slugs Ron threw up when he told Malthoy to eat slugs, and y you know what I mean. Okay, so I guess I'm going to try these. For you guys. Now I will say the packaging is quite cool. It says it's a soft chewy gummy treat. I usually don't like green or yellow candies and they feel so weird. I'm just gonna start off by saying oh my god. Oh I don't want to put this in my mouth. Okay um I'm gonna go with the the dark green. Oh my god. God, I don't like this. <gasps> okay, I'm already having some texture issues. Oh, I saw it. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, the flavor isn't that terrible. It does like feel like you just put a slug in your mouth. Like it literally, like it's so thick that it feels like it feels like there's a slug in your mouth. Now it does because of that kind of remind me of like eating like rubbery plastic. Like it literally like kind of sort of tastes like rubbery, rubbery plastic. It's not very flavorful, but the hint of flavors that there is is decent. It's what made me not spit it out completely. But if you ever want to feel like Ron in the movie where he's throwing up slugs, you just ingest them the other way and that's what it tastes like. So guys, the last candy I bought are the Birdie Bots Every Flavored Beans. And I have had these before when I was like a little kid. They weren't in this packaging and they had them at uh, Party City and stuff. And I had bought them for my third birthday party, which was, as I already said, Harry Potter themed. And I put like a ton of these in a bowl and everyone had to like take a Birdie Bots Every Flavored Bean. I have not had these in quite some time um but they are fun candy and i do want to do these but not in this video just because i feel like it's way more fun when you do it with someone else so i'm definitely saving these for another video in the future doing these with a friend so if you guys want to see a video of me trying these with one of my friends then be sure to subscribe down below and keep an eye out for that video but until then i will see you guys next time i love you very much and thanks for watching Bye, guys.